if you enable priority boost, you get performance like this. Hi there, this is Pinal Dave and I welcome all of you to this another episode of SQL in the 60 second. Please do not forget to subscribe this channel. Now let's learn very important topic which is priority boost. If you have enabled SQL Server Priority Boost in your configuration, you should definitely read the documentation. Documentation says that, that this feature will be removed in the future version of SQL Server and you should avoid using it. The documentation also gives you limitation and restriction that by enabling this, you may have performance problems. It is recommended that you turn off this configuration because it's gonna to go away in the future. Let's learn how we can do that today. On the screen, I have very simple select statement. When you execute the select statement, it will give you current status of your priority boost configuration. In my case, it's enabled right now. Let's learn how we can turn it off. Here is another script. First, you need to show advanced options if you have not enabled that. Right after that, we have SP configure which will turn off your priority boost. Once you execute this statement, it will configure priority boost to be off. However, it will not come into action till you restart your SQL Server. Once you restart the SQL Server, you can go back to your previous script and run the same select statement. This time, you will notice that priority boost is now turned off. Well, that's it for today. I have one important warning right after the outro. If you like what you see, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video. Always test all your changes on development environment first before you deploy them on production.